police tackling, screaming, singing, shockingly singing. And it was, it was heart-wrenching. In Highlands Ranch, a 16-year-old sophomore named Sean is traumatized. I can still hear them faintly. I can still hear the screaming and singing. Haunting sounds. Lockdown. Students at the STEM school listen to Hiding in the Dark. I was sitting in the corner texting mom and dad saying that if something happens, I love them. Some students angry over red flags the older suspects seem to have waved in their faces, described as a bully to some younger students who they say often joked about shooting up the school. He also would whisper, like, get really close and, like, kind of put his arm around you and whisper in your ear, like, don't come to school tomorrow. The district now facing questions over whether they were warned something like Columbine could happen over five months ago by an anonymous parent. The school saying those claims were unsubstantiated, administrators even filing a defamation suit against the anonymous parent. Meanwhile, multiple law enforcement sources tell our NBC affiliate KUSA that investigators are also trying to determine whether a bullet from a private security officer's gun may have hit and wounded one of the injured students. A question authorities say will not likely be answered until ballistics testing is complete.